It says two lines. Two lines. Three y minus two x is equal to twenty one and four y plus plus five x plus five x is equal to what five intercept at the point Q that means if I draw this on a graph the two of them assuming this is my graph now we're just assuming now and this is the line of the first I made the line of the second and the two of them intercept at P sorry the two of them intercept at Q so I'm going to use this as my intersection now Find the coordinates of P. Of course, the coordinates of P should mean when I read it here, the value of the S value, and when I read it here, the value of the Y value. So in that case, I'm going to solve this simultaneously, calling this equation one equation two. I can decide to um, eliminate. Let me eliminate H. So in eliminating S, I can simply say equation one times what? 5 and equation 2 times what 2. I'm trying to eliminate this. So if I multiply this equation by 5, and this is I have 10 here. And if I multiply this equation by 2, and this is I have 10 here. Remember when we want to eliminate, or when you want to eliminate, you notice that you must have opposite signs and equal coefficients. So that's the two requirements of elimination. You have the signs must be opposite, meaning that one is plus, one is minus, and the other one, the coefficient must be what? Equal. So in this case, they are not equal, then I adopted the number by which I should multiply to make them equal. So in this case, I have five times two is what? Ten. Five, two times five is ten. So I'm applying everything here by five, which gives me 15y minus 10x is equal to 5 times this will give us um, 105 that is 5 times 21 then we go to equation 2 and multiply by 2 we have 8y plus 10x is equal to 10 so equation 3 and equation 4 in this case I can simply say add this and this and this to eliminate this, remember we say we're using the elimination method. We say 15y plus 8y will give us what? 23y. Then minus 10 plus minus 10s plus 10s is gone. Then this and this will give us what? 115. So I can simply say. 23y is equal to 115. So I can say y is equal to 115 divided by what? 23, which means so that y is what? 5. Having gotten that y is 5, I can simply say put y equals to 5 in the equation. Let's put in equation y. y is 5. That means 3 times 5 minus 2x is equal to 21 so we have 15 minus 2x is equal to 21 so i can simply say minus 2x is equal to 21 minus 15 that is taking this one over to this side we have minus 2x is equal to 6 so of course our uh, x is equal to 6 divided by minus 2 which will give us minus 3 so the values or the coordinate of Q, like we are told, will be that it is what? Minus 3 and what? 5. Coordinates of Q. Coordinates of Q will be what? Minus, remember we said you must place your S before your Y. In this question, we calculated S first. We sorry, we calculated Y first. But that does not mean we put our 5 first. We will put our X before the Y when it comes to coordinate geometry. Alright. Question number three. 
Question number three says, the diagonals of a rhombus are 10.2 and 9.3 cm long. Of course, a rhombus should look like this. Then it says the diagonals, that is this and this. The diagonals are this and this. Of course, in a rhombus, we want to assume that all the sides are what equal. All the sides are what equal. So in that case, they say the diagonals of a rhombus are 10.2, meaning that as we open from here to here, we have 10.2. Then, of course, this one is giving us 9.3. 9.3. So in that case, they said. Calculate correct one decimal place the perimeter of the rhombus. Perimeter of the rhombus means you are going to get the value of this and this and this and this. That's the distance around that shape. The value of the distance around the shape. So we've been told that this is 10.2, and of course, this is 9.3. So I can simply say from here to here should be 10.2 divided by 2, which is what? 5.1. Of course, want to believe that from here to here is 10.2. Then if I divide it into, into two equal parts, I have 5.1, 5.1, that is 10.2 divided by what? 2. Then of course, this is 9.3. 9.3. Nine point three, of course, which will give us four point um, six five. Four point six five. That is nine point three divided by two, and of course, this is ten point two divided by what two. So, of course, they should meet at a right angle, meaning that we have a triangle or a right angle triangle. That is such that here is 5.1 and here is 4.65. And we are told to get this. So we are applying our what? Pythagoras triple. So I can decide to call this x. So I can simply say x squared is equals to 5.1 squared plus 4.65 squared. So 5.1 squared, 5.1 squared, 5. Point one squared giving us what twenty six point zero one plus twenty six point zero one then plus four point six five squared giving us twenty one point six Two two five. So we can add the two of them up. That is adding twenty six point zero one. So we have forty seven point six three two five is equals to x squared. Meaning that our x is equals to square root of forty seven point six three two five. That is the square root of our answer. The square root of square root of um, square root of uh, forty seven forty seven point six three two five, which will give us six. Point nine zero one six. But they say we should give it to one decimal place. So x to one decimal place. Okay, this is the value of this. When we're told to calculate the um, the distance run, that is, this is x, 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 x. So we can simply say times what four. So I multiply by four. Multiply by four to get twenty seven 
0.606 to one decimal point will now give us what? to one decimal point will give us what um, 20 not x again the perimeter is equals to 27.606 then to one decimal point is what 27.6 to one decimal point. Question number B says Question number B three B says given that sine x is three over five. So sine x is equal to 3 over 5. Remember sine is opposite to about what? Hypotenuse. Meaning that if I have a right angle triangle as this, the hypotenuse here is 4. 3 over 5. It's not 4. 3 over 5. So you can say 5 is here. And the opposite, I want to assume that this is my angle of reference. So this is adjacent. The opposite will be what? 3. I look at some of our studies before now we explain this concept for very well. Of course, this, this is the value of our x. Then it says find the value of 5 cos s minus 4 tan x. So we are going to find 5 cos s minus 4 tan x. So 5 cos s, of course, in our cos. Pythagoras triple gives us 25, that is square root of this minus 9 gives us 16. Square root of 16 is what? 4. That's the Pythagoras triple. That is square this, subtract so square of this, you get square of this. So 25, 9, which will give us 25 minus 9 is 16. Square root of 16 is what? 4. So you can simply say here is 4. That's the recent is 4. So if I'm told to get 5 times Cos S is 4 over 5, that is adjacent of hypotenuse, minus 4 times opposite of adjacent, which is 3 over 4. One can simply cancel this for this, and of course cancel this for this. I'm having 4 minus 3, meaning the final answer is what? 1.